Coming up in sports, Ohio women's basketball hits the road this weekend to take on another non-conference opponent. And Ohio football has its first win streak of the season. Hear from the head coach next on Newswatch. And be sure to stay tuned to WOUB. Here's a look at what's coming up on tonight on your public television station. Ohio football has had a lot to celebrate these last couple of weeks as the Bobcats are on a winning streak. After their emotional victory against Miami, the Bobcats took home another one against Eastern Michigan on the road Tuesday with a 34-26 victory. Curtis Work had a signature performance in the win, throwing for 230 yards and three touchdowns. Although the Bobcats have secured their first winning streak of the season, head coach Tim Albin knows that they will be in for an emotional game on their senior night against Toledo. A big teddy bear when it comes to these, these young men. And, um, you know, you think about their time and, and, and the recruitment of them. If, if we can find a way to, to play our best four and, and try, to, try to steal another one, because no, one, no one's going to give us much of a chance. And um, it, it'll be, a, again, a huge challenge. I don't think it puts any more pressure on us, but it'll dang sure if we can find a way to get it done, it's going to make it that much more sweeter. Ohio will take on Toledo in their final home game of the season Tuesday night. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. Bobcat Hoops is finally back at the Convo, and what a way to start the season. In their first official matchup since their magical run to the NCAA tournament last year, Ohio hosted the Belmont Bruins this past Tuesday. Thousands of fans packed the Convo to see all the skill that was on display, and what a display it was. Ohio was able to pull away with a 92-80 victory against Belmont, and guards Mark Sears was phenomenal. After his 27-point performance, here's what he had to say. Coach, he put, a, he put together a great uh, game plan, and we just stuck together, and we executed, and, that's, and the results came. I was just shooting with confidence and putting extra shots, and uh, your work, Chester, and it always pay off. Uh, we just uh, throw it in the post, and they'll double-team the post and kick out easy threes. Ohio women's hoops is also underway, but unfortunately the Bobcats couldn't capture a similar result in their season opener. Unfortunately, the Bobcats were in South Bend, Indiana to take on Notre Dame, but it was a 105-69 to loss. Ohio will look to brush it off at Liberty University. They will have their hands full as the Flames are coming off an 89-40 trouncing against Belmont Abbey College. But head coach Bob Bolden likes that his team is playing against elite competition. I think anytime you think you're going to be better than average, good to great, you should probably try to play people that are better than you and give your kids um, an opportunity to win marquee games. You know, it's twofold. It's one, you get a chance for a signature win. Um, and then secondly, you kind of prepare yourself for what it's going to be like in conference play. It's going to be... Uh, you know, our, our most difficult games are typically our conference games. The Bobcats' next game against Liberty will tip off at 7 p.m. on Saturday. Ohio Hockey prepares to hit the road to play Liberty as well this weekend. The Bobcats will look to snap Liberty's undefeated winning streak at home, and they have two opportunities to do so. Ohio is coming off strong performances from their three games last week and will look to carry its momentum against the Flames. Puck drop is scheduled for 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. I'm Darius Sethna, and that's it for sports. Back to you, Curtis.